Alright, I'm gonna hit the road. I don't know about you, but I need to get my mentor there on a daily basis. I think it's really important to do that. Reevaluate yourself constantly. Basically, this video isn't how to get like your dream job and to be super successful. Hopefully, it can lead to that. But this video is meant for taking a better, closer look at the details and the smaller things in life. How is it possible to accomplish the larger things in life, the bigger things, you know, if you can't? get the small things done. And I think that the small things and the important things start in the morning. So without further ado, let's jump on in. It was a simple task, mundane at best, but every morning we were required to make our bed to perfection. It seemed a little ridiculous at the time, particularly in light of the fact that we were aspiring to be real warriors, tough battle-hardened seals, but the wisdom of this simple act has been proven to me many times over. If you make your bed every morning, you will have accomplished the first task of the day. It will give you a small sense of pride and it will encourage you to do another task and another and another. And by the end of the day, that one task completed will have turned into many tasks completed. Making your bed will also reinforce the fact that the little things in life matter if you can't do the little things right, you'll never be able to do the big things right. And if by chance you have a miserable day, you will come home to a bed that is made, that you made. And a made bed gives you encouragement that tomorrow will be better. So if you want to change the world, start off by making your bed. How cool was that? Like, I felt like that was common sense, but yet like really just, eye-opening and I've always known that like making your bed was important because it is the first task of your day and, and I have been doing it and honestly I love there is like no better feeling to me than having a made bed and like a clean house you guys know I like that but um it's just really motivating and helps you be disciplined and I just think that if you do the smaller thing like you start with something like that um it really does encourage you to do other things it encourages me to um put my clothes away fold the laundry, do the dishes, put the dishes away. And then once everything is cleaned, you know, I'm able to think better. But besides that, I just think that at least making your bed, you would know you at least did one thing. So I just think it's something that you can discipline yourself to do every morning and it might help you with the next thing you have to do or be able to think better, you know? For me, for a long time, and actually recently, I, I just haven't been getting up the way, getting up as early as I used to get up. I noticed how important, like anytime I wake up early and I set my alarm, I get so much more things accomplished that day. Even if it's one or two things. If you, if you set your alarm for an hour earlier than you typically would get up, um, you're able to get at least one task done that you wouldn't have gotten done if you got up later, you know? I know for me personally, it's something I have to work on um, because it just, it's so much better. Now that it's winter, like there's not that much sun. Like even right now, it's so cloudy. The sun goes down by 4.30 and your rest of the day is shot. For me, I get so much more accomplished in the daylight. So I just think that you're setting yourself up for a great day if you discipline yourself to get up a little bit earlier and the, the first like actual task of the day is to make your bed. <sighs> Some days are just really good hair days, and some days are just get it together. Okay, tell me to stop. 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 Leave it alone. It's fine. But you know when you're like watching someone talk, and like you're watching a video, and like there's that piece of hair sticking up, and you're like, oh my gosh, just fix your hair. <laughs> get over it. It's not that important. So for me, this next one has really, I, I truly believe, helped me. Like. I've done a lot of research on this and not only that, I remember this from like elementary, like junior high when uh, my anatomy teacher said this and it's stuck in my head. So the first thing that you have in the morning is a glass of water. Typically, it, like a Japanese tradition is more of like lukewarm or warm water because it helps with the digestion and like um, I guess your bowel movements when everything's, in the, when the water's warm, but you can have room temperature or whatever. Anyway, one glass of water does so much for your body. 
it's not just because it's water and we need it. Um, when you go to bed, your body is repairing itself. Your body is replenishing your energy. It's balancing out the hormones. It is um, pulling out the toxins and just basically repairing everything. So even if you drank a lot of water the day before and you're pretty hydrated, when you wake up, you're at your most dehydrated state. So if you're already not drinking enough water and then you wake up in the morning, you're already, like you're really dehydrated. So the first thing we typically do, most people, and I know for myself, is have a nice hot cup of coffee. And there's nothing like that first step of coffee, like I am all about it. But I am telling you, if you have a glass of water every single day before a cup of coffee, you're gonna notice such a difference. Coffee is filled with caffeine. Caffeine is a natural dehydrator. And you're gonna dehydrate your already dehydrated body if that's what you start with. I never really thought about it, but once that I heard that, I'm like, wow, that really makes sense. So you need to hydrate it it's first thing in the morning and you're gonna be so much more sharp and alert. Obviously hydrate your cells, like get to your brain and just everything functions so much better. The other thing is, like I said, the toxins are, you know, your body's kind of flushing that out. It needs that water to flush that toxin out. Otherwise, the toxins remain and you're not able to get the full benefits of nutrients when you're eating after that. So that first cup of water literally hydrates you and flushes out the toxins. It supposedly boosts your metabolism and, and curbs your appetite. And then the other thing that I researched was... Well, in a Japanese tradition, this is what they have scientifically proven, but um, there's like a list, I'm not going to name all the lists, of diseases that it fights and has prevented. There's like a whole list. Um, if you just Google it, it'll come up. All from a cup of water, you know? So, anyway, doing this, literally, I feel so much more awake and energized and alert. I don't know, I just thought it was such a cool little detail of your day that you can just commit to doing every day that you know you're like, it's benefiting yourself, you know? Okay, so I had to move because it really was getting too dark. It's already dark right here and yeah, I'm gonna finish this up. Okay, so yeah, the next thing, which literally like that and the last thing that I just said has helped so much. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you. So you guys know I like to have smoothies if you've been watching my vlogs. I have made a commitment to make a smoothie every single morning and it's been for the past like two, three, but I want to say three weeks. Um, and I typically always had smoothies every now and then, but I never like forced myself to have one every single day. And I am so like the energy that I have that I didn't have before is insane. A stable, like balanced energy throughout the day. And I'm, I know it's because of the water and I know it's because of the smoothie. Um, so in my smoothies I make every morning, which is, I'm getting all the fruits that I typically would get, like any kind of frozen fruits I have, but I always make sure there's a banana in there, blueberries, spinach, flaxseed, and ch chia seeds. Um, and they, on their own, have so many benefits in them, like antioxidants, amino acids, fatty acids, I don't know what else, that's the ones that I remember, uh, protein obviously, but spinach, just like... If I can't make, you know, a really healthy lunch or really healthy dinner and I'm, I'm finding myself having a lot more carbs that day or whatever, at least I know in that morning I made a really healthy smoothie, which, which is the most important meal of the day anyway, which is like going to sustain your energy and your brain and everything, how it functions. So, I don't know. I just feel so great. I can't even explain to you. And doing these steps has made me want to be healthier in other areas. I'm starting my day right. Obviously, you guys know I'm a believer, I'm a Christian, I do my devotions and stuff like that, and I pray, and I'm not like trying to shove that down your throat if you're not at all, but if you are, then I definitely suggest you do some devotions in the morning, you know, with your coffee, it's the best, um, read, read your scripture, do your devotions, pray, get your mind right, reevaluate yourself, breathe, you know, just take that little bit of time to be able to recharge yourself, get right with God, you know, just get that positive affirmations, those positive words so that you can just be positive throughout the day and feel good and know that you did your best and you started your day off right. You're going to have a much better day doing that than if, as if you didn't. And if you're not a believer, then I, I just, I totally recommend just sitting down quiet and breathing and just saying positive things, reading positive books, um, taking just a little bit of your time to just reevaluate everything. 
Each morning after that routine, you open up your calendar and check anything that you need to do that day. Whether it's paying a bill, because that's super important, so you're not behind, so you're not late, so your credit's good. And I have to do this because I have my bills are scattered throughout the whole entire month and I have to write it down in my calendar. And every day you open up, oh, this is due today. Shoot, that's due tomorrow, let me get my stuff together. Like I have to make sure I have enough money in the bank, I have to go to run to the bank, I have to go run up to the store before work. You know, like you have to be on top of all these things. The little things matter, the little bills matter, everything matters, you know? And I also should suggest, which is a night thing, like, or one day a week, getting one day out of the week to just get everything together, everything in order, write out all of the things you need to do that month, that week, um, all the dates, all the events, all the birthdays, you know, just like anything, even a grocery list, so that you're on top of it and you're not scatterbrained when you go places. It is so, so freaking easy to be negative and literally the past two, three days, there's just been something that's been going on in like every day that's like, eh. <laughs> like trying to get me down. Like even the weather, like, nah, nah, it ain't happening. You know, I'm just like trying to stay focused, trying to stay positive because, excuse me, sir. I'm not always positive, believe me, I'm not always positive. I really am not. I mean, you see me in my vlog sometimes, I like have an attitude or I'm just like sassy or just negative. But I I really do try, especially like, I don't know, more lately. I just, I really believe that being positive has such an effect on other people and, and it really affects you just saying positive things even when you're not feeling positive and, and you're negative can help you so much it really helps and i just love being around positive people like if you think about it you don't like to be around negative people you don't like to be around people who constantly complain or talk badly about people it's just not fun it's not enjoyable you like to be around people who laugh and who joke around and who are optimistic and say like positive things and make you uplift you make you feel good and you want positivity and the only way you're gonna get further in life is if you remain positive. If you're constantly negative and talking down yourself, talking down other people, speaking badly about other people, and just being negative in every situation, how, how are you gonna get any further? You have to be a positive person. And sometimes you have to fake it till you make it, and sometimes you have to push yourself. And it's okay to have days where you're not, you know, great no one is great every day but um try your hardest like just try try your hardest and i think that that's going to help you throughout your day and throughout your week and people are going to just be drawn to you because you're positive you know um i love you guys so much i hope these were helpful for you and you know just you you think about the smaller things you work on the small things first we're gonna have a good day which can lead to a good week and when you don't have a good day you gotta just Keep it moving. Every morning is a new start to a new day and can change. Things can change in an instant, so just constantly be on yourself. Love you guys so much. Comment your thoughts below. Any tips you can give me, that would be amazing. Have a wonderful week. Subscribe if you're not already, and all right.